I've decided to redo my Sheffield Castle video because I don't feel the, the current development on the new sites good enough and I'll show you around the area and then where the uh, castle is so down here you can see Ladies Bridge I think that was the first bridge over the River Don into Sheffield which will go back quite some time and just here it's a river sheaf, it's in a concrete culvert all the way back to the Midland Station and if you go towards Bramall Lane you'll actually find the river sheaf down there or where it's out of the ground anyway. So if you can imagine that's the river sheaf that direction, that's the river down there and somewhere over there was Sheffield Castle. Now the plans for Sheffield Castle are to actually create a park and I think open up what's left. I just don't think that goes far enough. I think what they should be doing is, I think they should actually be rebuilding the castle. That would be a fantastic development to be iconic, to create work, it would be a massive tourist attraction and I think they've actually rebuilt the medieval castle in France. I think that was a, a EU directive. I'm not very keen on the EU, but if that's what they actually did, that's a really good thing. And I think, wouldn't that be fantastic if that castle was actually rebuilt? I just want to show you something before I take you around the area. Just here somebody spent some time on a cafe bar or building and it looks like it probably went into admin administration during one of the lockdowns absolute real shame because it's a lovely little spot looking down on the river Don so we're on Blanc Street at the moment This was actually the gentleman's toilets. Alexander House was once a thriving pub, no more. So you can see the river Don just there. And I'm probably stood on the river sheaf here. So the idea of the new park is to open up the river sheaf from here up to here that's where the old sheaf market was that's why you call it the sheaf market the river sheaf went underneath it and then they're going to put so they opened the river up there and then there's going to be a grass area here so this is the old castle gate road would have been once a busy road and when they actually paved the area there was actually the super well the old tram tracks in Sheffield underneath here you could actually see them but at the moment this is where the old castle market was but it's sort of the new park will come from here to about here from the plans but I think we need to put more pressure on the council we've got a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually do something fantastic for Sheffield I've been told they don't like progress by folks of Waverley well I think there's a difference between progress and regression I think what we're seeing in our cities is regression we built some fantastic buildings back in the 19th century and now we're turning out Lego land buildings I don't know if you was like me and watch, watch with mother and we watch programs like Camberwick Green and various other programs like that 
and nowadays they watch tele oh they watch Teletubbies and now we're getting Teletubby land we also had Trump and stuff like that but when you watch stuff like Teletubbies when your kids what what more do you expect coming out I mean this is a beautiful building across here this is taking you down to the wicker But I remember this area being absolutely thriving when I was a kid. Smells, noises, sounds. And this castle market was pretty thriving. You can see that raised the banking up. This is a 19th century building and if you go up to Cambridge Street now and you look at the buildings up there and you think that's not progress, that's regression. I do like that one though, the eye centre. I know it's modernish, but it's like 1960s building, only been built since about 2000 but I actually do like that. And Got a clearer view on Ladies Bridge just there. So this is another pub and it says it on the side tap and barrel. It's now called something else. That was once a thriving pub. So that was Brewer on the Bridge. See, Ladies Bridge here. It's just absolutely steeped in history around here. Tap and barrel from a different angle. My view is we've got a massive opportunity once in a lifetime opportunity to do something right for a change coming on to Wayne Gate here you can see all the the names of the roads to do with the castle now Sheffield Castle was supposed to be the biggest castle in the north of England and it was the boundary between I think it was the southern boundary of Northumbria, probably Mercy if I can remember rightly, and it was important. I think it'd been there. I think there'd been a settlement there since probably before the Saxon times, because there was a Saxon type house on there before they ever built a castle. So this is the old town hall. They moved from here in the 1900s to the new town hall that you now know. Now this was court buildings for a long long time the same again we have an opportunity I think this would be great as an history type museum for Sheffield not just about our medieval past but also about our industrial past and if I can't do that it will make a fantastic hotel something that needs to be done before it starts to fall to pieces But Sheffield Castle was a royally stronghold and it was sacked in the Civil War and then knocked down after. So we're coming onto the A market area and it really niggles me that this is the traditional market area Sheffield next to the castle. And the people that are camped out in Sheffield, the people that don't love Sheffield, are destroying it and just destroying our tradition. The market area probably goes back 500, 700 years. And they decide to move it down to the bottom at more. You can tell they're not real Sheffielders, otherwise they would never have done that.
just want to zoom in on another building. Cannon pub there. That's been shut down for a long, long time. I'm not sure what it is now. You can see. Just show you there. Other side of Castle House, but we're on Castle Street here. The name is just give it away. So we're now just coming back to where the um, castle market was. This was the outdoor castle market, just here. We used to have all stalls, and then this is the indoor part with the castle somewhere to the left of me. You can see the sheet. This was where the sheep market is the red brick building. I'm just coming here to show you where the river sheep would have come through. So you've got the old market tavern that's been turned into an art gallery, I'm told the project doesn't fall down. Got something called Mudford's building, I'm not sure what the original purpose for the Mudford, Mudford's building was. So another building worth saving. And then, if you can imagine, the River Sheaf sort of is actually under here. And then it sort of comes down there ish. So the old sheep market was behind me. So that's it, that's just a quick view of this area, but also we can do so much more. The actual A market area, Sheffield's so depressed. There's no, no footfall anymore. And we have that once in a lifetime opportunity to do something with the castle site. And I'm so under road with the plans for Sheffield Castle. I think they were talking about building a gate or something. But to me that goes nowhere near what we should be doing. We should be proud that Sheffield had a medieval past as well as an industrial past. And we should play on that for the city. So that's it, just a quick video of Sheffield Castle or where it was and hopefully we'll get something better than what they're proposing.